In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can change document layouts using Microsoft Word and Business Central. So this can be done for customer facing documents or supplier facing documents such as invoices, purchase orders and so on. So we're going to spend a bit of time looking at how we do that. So first, what we need to do is go into custom report layouts, which is going to take us to an area of the system where we can start thinking about what type of layout it is that we want to change. So there's a couple that we have in uh, in this list already. The one that we're going to focus on today is the sales invoice. But as you can see, you've also got purchase order. Um, we've also got draft invoices, pro forma invoices, which are free to change as well. So just looking at a couple of the options we have for invoices. So the default, I believe, is this sales invoice blue simple. So if we wanted to preview what that looks like, we can go into process, run report, and we can choose a previous invoice um, to run this report with. So just having a look here, let's just pick one of our random orders from the system and preview that. So this is going to give us an impression of what that report looks like as standard. So a little bit of time to spit that out, but we can see we've got our company name at the top right, um, all of the relevant information um, and a nice layout with a, a blue table there. Um, to so show you another example, let's do this red sales invoice. Um, so let's do the same thing. So run report preview just so that we can see the way that it differs and the point of this is so that we can start having a look at sort of different starting points for invoice layouts just so that we're not having to start from scratch but we are going to use this um, invoice um, sales invoice blue simple in this particular example now what we can't do is change a built-in report within the system what we first need to do is copy that report and name it something different um, so let's do um, example invoice. We'll just rename that example invoice. Um, and what we can then do is export this layout um, using export layout and, and it will dump it into Word for us. So if we open this in, in Word, we'll see that we've got something that looks slightly different to um, what we saw when we previewed it in Business Central because what we're now seeing is the field names in the background that the document is pulling through before it's being generated because, of course, um, Business Central needs to know from that document what data it's calling through. So we're, we're just going to enable editing here. Um, I'm going to save this uh, to my desktop. So let's just do save as example report uh, or example invoice. Um, so we'll save that there um, just so that it's saved uh, with a name that I recognize instead of just download or, or sales invoice or whatever it happens to be when it's spat out of the system. There's a couple of other things that we need to, to bear in mind before we start making changes to this document. So, so the first is if we do want to add in any more fields that may not already be included within the document, we need to enable developer tools within Microsoft Word. Now, without going into the technical detail, this is where we need to start using sort of the XML mappings so that business central knows what fields um, to, to pull through to the document so what we're going to do is we're going to go into file uh, we're going to click on options within word we're then going to go to customize ribbon and we're going to turn on this developer tab here so we're just going to put a tick in the box and click on ok that means that we've now got a developer tab that we can click on the xml mapping pane for I'm just going to get rid of the navigation here and we'll be able to see that if we click on URN, Microsoft Dynamics, Report Standard, these are all the table and field headings um, that we could bring into our report. Okay, so before we start bringing in additional fields, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change some of the formatting here. So let's go into our table, table design, and we'll change the, the layout. So let's just go in and make that purple, for example. So we'll do that instead. Um, let's also make our text purple so it fits the theme. So let's just go in and choose that sort of dark color there and I'm going to do the same for my field headings there too just so that we do have a, an element of consistency actually let's just highlight all of them there we go cool and then there we go so it, to be fair we, we don't really need to do anything more than that if it's just stylistic changes that we're, we're wanting to make um, in terms of color so it fits fits closer to our brand um, anything in the in the footer um, again we need to double click to get into that detail before we can then make those changes so I'll just do that again quickly there we go so high level stylistic changes easy enough to do just using word now let's imagine that we've got uh, another field that we want to bring in so within our sales invoices as well as the document date the due date 
rates um, and any payment terms. We also want to add in shipping information. So, so maybe a, a shipping code or sh shipping agent or, or whatever your terminology is. What I'm first going to do is I'm just going to expose the borders on this table here. Um, just so that I can see what's going on with my layouts because I'm going to add in another column here. So let's just insert to the right and then what we need to do is find the shipping information from our available fields in our XML mapping. So let's go into shipping method description um, or shipping agent code. Again it depends what field you want to pull through but let's first pull through the heading so you'll see that the heading or the field names are always appended with this underscore label at the end which means it's a heading not actual data so let's go into insert as plain text and I'm just going to copy the formatting of this other heading that we've got there so format there and then to actually bring in the data um, what we need to then do is actually pull in the shipping method description here into the report too. So let's once again insert content control plain text to bring that description in. So we've now got the field name and then the field description um, as per however we've entered that data in Business Central. So I'm now going to get rid of the borders just because I, I don't need those anymore. So let's just go borders, no borders, um, just so that it looks a little bit prettier. And then what we're going to do now is import this layout back into Business Central. So I'm going to save that as my example invoice. I'm going to go back into Business Central um, and under our example invoice here, I'm going to click on layout import layout should be in my downloads list so let's just go into downloads here example invoice okay okay so it should have uploaded in the background for us to preview again we can go into process run report um, and then select the same invoice number so let's preview that now so we should have a nice purple document instead um, and then we've got shipment method coming through but I've got nothing specified for the shipment method within this particular template um, but it would pull through the data there underneath had this been populated with data so just an easy example of the ways that you can pull in data um, from other fields in Business Central even if they're not included in the standard report there so easy enough to do. Um, there are of course a number of other fields that you have access to so just to take you through a couple of common ones that we see coming through into sales invoices for example um, it may be that you want to add in which salesperson has actually generated that invoice that's that's quite a common one um, we've also got some other ones here so moving up a little bit um, shipping date or shipping date or let's have a look shipment date yeah that's quite a, co a common one um, just so that the customer knows what, what date that we shipped it um, and a couple of others as well. So again, you'll, you'll build up a, a better feel for of what you need to bring into your document now. But it's not too complicated and you don't really need much of a technical mind to start bringing data into your reports straight away. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.